Welcome. Our short service from the Beacons and Flint of Adam Ministry area this week is all about putting our faith into action. Please do join in. All the words and music are provided. Thank you. Together we say sorry for our failings this week in a prayer based on Psalm 86. Hear, O Lord, and answer me, for as rich as I may think that I am, I confess that I am poor and needy. You are forgiving and good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call to you in their time of desperation and need. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Amen. Help us, O keeper of faith, to keep the faith entrusted to us, faith in a world worth saving, faith in a dream worth sharing, faith in a heritage worth keeping, even as we reinvigorate it to have meaning for us now. Help us keep faith in you, and help us not lose faith in ourselves, for faith is the substance of our hope, and hope the assurance of love. Amen. We join together in saying our Lord's Prayer in the language of our choice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Our reading is from James' letter written to the 12 tribes, the Jewish Christians, dispersed throughout the world, chapter 1, verses 17 to 27. Every good endowment and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Know this, my beloved brethren, let every man be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not work the righteousness of God. Therefore put away all filthiness and rank growth of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like a man who observes his natural face in the mirror. For he observes himself, and goes away, and at once forgets what he was like. But he who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer that forgets, but a doer that acts, he shall be blessed in his doing. If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this man's religion is vain. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. James, brother of Jesus, and generally accepted to be the author of this letter, is very clear. Faith alone is not enough. We must behave in a way that reflects our faith by doing good deeds for others. We should all be doers, not merely hearers of God's word. James tells us that having faith and devotion to God will lead to a life which has a particular character of generosity of spirit and consideration about how we are to others, even to the way we speak. Perhaps especially to the way we speak. We can't insult our neighbour, who is like us, made in God's own image, and expect our behaviour to be acceptable to God. James is concerned with what a Christian life should be like. He explores two questions. Firstly, who is God? James' answer is pure gospel teaching. God is identified by what he gives. Every perfect gift comes from above, from the God who gave us light and who has no shadow or change within him. God does this by his word of truth which in this context is the gospel. In a way, the word of truth is God's creative agent. The second question that James considers is, who are you? James speaks of the lack of joined upness within hearing and doing, and reminds us that we are all people blessed by God's gifts. But what happens if we forget who we are? Forget the gifts we have been blessed with. Forget the gifts we have received. Forgetting all this leads to a life of self-absorption and to a life of getting what you can whenever you can. Remembering what we've been given as gifts is actually liberating. It enables us to be thankful, positive about the future and to be generous with our time and possessions to others. Through this generosity, our faith will show. James tells us to look at ourselves again and see what is really there in the mirror. Are we showing faith in action through the deeds we do? And indeed, what is faith in action? Looking at that familiar quote from Matthew's Gospel, Truly I tell you, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. It couldn't be more clear, really. Listening to this reflection on James' letter, I know there are lots of us who help others in many ways. 
through caring for elderly relatives or neighbours who are unable to manage through disability. Maybe doing shopping for those who can't get out through helping children in school, or visiting those who are alone and lonely, or giving to charities if we can't give practical help, through volunteering with charities that support people in need, giving to food banks, supporting refugees. The list is huge and endless. But what all these actions, and the many other caring actions, have in common is that they are real-life examples of faith in action and love. And this 2,000 years after James' words. We should take great comfort from that thought as we continue to look for opportunities to support those in need. Amen. final prayers. We cannot imagine what it must be like for those trying to flee Afghanistan and for those who have no alternative but to stay living in daily fear and oppression, including those who have a Christian faith which they dare not publicise. We can only pray for and with those who look towards God and the words of the Bible for hope. Amen. God, stay with me. Let no word cross my lips that is not your word. No thoughts enter my mind that are not your thoughts. No deed ever be done or entertained by me that is not your deed. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God the Father Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and reign with you and those you love forevermore. Amen. God speed us, God lead us, and keep us wrapped around his heart. <laughs>